All right, y'all. The name of the video says it all. It ain't clickbaiting. This is some real stuff. I am no longer a film critic. So uh, recently I was accepted into the, the Critics Association of Central Florida, which was an honor because I, I tell you what, to give you a little background on myself, I've been a, a movie purist enthusiast all my life. You know, my earliest memory is going to see Return of the Jedi at three years old. That, that's how far back I go. And I remember growing up watching Siskel and Ebert and just admiring the banter back and forth between them and their love for movies. And they had the same love that I had for films. So in the back of my mind, I kind of wanted to do what they did. And then when I got older, I wanted to be a part of the movie industry. I wanted to be a filmmaker and a screenwriter and all that. And um, that didn't pan out exactly how I wanted it to. But hey, never too late. You might see a film written and produced by me one day. You never know. But then as I got older and I started watching uh, YouTube, I saw Jeremy Johns. I saw Chris Stuckman, The Schmoes, Double Toasted. And I said, that's it. I want to do that. So... I had aspirations then of becoming a critic. And then I started my YouTube channel back in March of 2017. And I worked my ass off to get to where I'm at now, even though I'm not thousands of thousands and thousands of subscribers deep, but damn it, what I have is what I built. Okay, I did that with the help of everyone that watched me, that commented, that subscribed to my channel. I love each and every single one of y'all. So. The subscribers I do have, I do not take for granted because when I do drop a video, y'all show love, y'all check me out. But still, I'm like, damn, I, I, want, I want to have that official card as a critic one day. You know what I mean? Even though critics are kind of frowned upon a lot, and I get it, and I've, I've done that myself. But the thing about me on my channel, I, I don't, I'm not uh, what you would call a traditional critic because I don't really break movies down like most critics do. But I still wanted to be a critic, though, you know. I use harsh language. <laughs> I say some things that are, you know, kind of out there off the wall, but I'm being me. But in no way, shape or form do I promote hate speech of any kind. And, you know, I don't um, maliciously try to go after anybody. You know what I'm saying? When I do talk trash, it's usually within the context of the film or the characters or sometimes I'll be like man I don't, I don't like this director's work or whatever but I I at least not that I know of take personal shots like that so when I finally applied and got accepted into the Critics Association of Central Florida it was very humbling to me it, it was a just a, a feeling of damn I finally I'm, I'm on my way you know and then to be around other critics like myself after a movie's done with, we sit around, we talk about it in fellowship, and I'm like, yeah, I, I dig this, I dig this. Look, y'all, <laughs> I'll probably have the shortest career ever or the shortest, um, the shortest uh, run as a critic of this association because I think not even a month into this or two months, I'm already out. I'm I'm done. Okay. Um, I was already contemplating leaving anyway because something happened that really rubbed me the wrong way and I guess the feeling was mutual. Um, I, I'm too much for them to handle and they're too much for me to handle. So um, they gave me my walking papers first. So they beat me to it. So they told me that I am no longer a part of the association. And the reason why is that I dropped a video yesterday for a movie that I reviewed called Amelia Perez. And I dropped two reviews for that. I'm about to get into that, though. So the first review I dropped was just my honest opinion and critique of the film, right? And the film has to do with a so-called sensitive subject matter about transgenders. And I guess I should learn from Dave Chappelle, unless you're, you know, not even Dave Chappelle with this $60 million, well, half a million dollars worth, could get away with that. But I was told, like, everything I said in that video was in the context of the movie, and of the characters and the decisions that the character made and questions that I had about those characters. So I get an email from this association telling me that I was promoting hate speech. I was creating a hostile environment. It didn't it didn't go with uh, the community guideline standards, you know, and then even said a lie that I was being disruptive during the movie. Now, I was sitting next to two of my peers. All right. And they will tell you, I wasn't brashing out loud and talking shit like, you know, I wasn't being ignorant. Every now and then I would whisper something under my breath, but maybe because my voice deep, it carries on. Maybe my whisper carried 
and other people heard what I was saying. But even then, I was this is the kind of stuff I was saying, like, yo, what am I watching? Like, what the, like, what the hell? And then one time, the, the lead character, Amelia Perez, I did say she looked like Marlon Wayans from White Chicks. But that was the person next to me. I said, hey, man, that looked like, that looked like uh, Marlon Wayans from White Chicks. You know what I'm saying? But I whispered it. I wasn't out being all, man, what is this? Yo, nobody want to see this shit, man. Yo, this is corny, man. So according to them, multiple people reported that I was being outspoken. I was being disrespectful during the screening. And now they're telling me that I have to conduct myself in a, in a professional way. So they said that I need to be more considerate when making videos and that I need to check myself and be professional because I represent them. I represent the association. So I'm like, wow, so this I'm being censored. And the thing is, look, if you because YouTube flag shit now, you know, YouTube flag shit, too. So if YouTube didn't have a problem with it, why do y'all have a problem with it? Why? Because it has to do with transgenders. All right. So the only thing I could think of is whoever's running this association, y'all got to be some hardcore left leftist liberal SOBs, man. All right. And I know you say, well, Rashad, you know, I ain't, listen, I ain't no right wing conservative either. I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm a man. I'm a man that lives in America <laughs> that believes in saying what you want to say without having to be censored. And that's it. And that is all. But you left side leftist mother, f you, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, I got that email first, right? So they want me, so pretty much they want me to take the video down. But they, they didn't say take it down, but I guess they, the way they worded that I was supposed to take it down. So fast forward two hours later, I get a follow-up email. Rashad, we want you to take the video down. This doesn't represent us well. I said, okay, so against my wishes for the first time ever in seven years, was I forced to take a movie review down? And at that time, I think I was probably at like, what, 50, I was probably at like 64 views in like two hours. You know, that's not a lot, but still, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it would have got some decent numbers. So I took it down. And then I felt some type of way, because you know what, yo, I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I'm, I'm not one to really bow down to authority, man. You know, listen, hey, I guess because I grew up listening to Rage Against the Machine and shit like that, I don't like being told what the fuck to do. So the fact that you, you know, are watching me with a microscope and monitoring me and telling me what I can do and what I can say and then tell and then even said that because something doesn't identify, doesn't uh, match up with my identity politics. I don't have identity politics. What are you talking about? You're creating this narrative about me. That's not true. You pansy suckers, man. So I, I, I did what they told me to do. I took the video down. But then I say, you know what? I said, they, 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 they want a proper review. I'll give them a proper review. So guess what? I reviewed the movie again. This time I put my glasses on. I had a polo shirt on. I spoke real proper and, you know, real elegant. And I said, hey. And then I, then I flashed across the screen. I flashed across the screen. Uh, I was demanded to take it down. So, of course, my peer hit me up and it was like, hey, uh, you're playing with fire with this one, bro. And I said, yeah, I know, I know. So I, I was talked off the ledge and I, I took it down. But guess what? Somebody in, in that short little time, this, this is how close they watching me, y'all. In the short time that I, that video wasn't even up for 30 minutes and I took it down and they still saw it. So the moment you post something, or well, at least my ass, they, they're watching immediately. So uh, Critics Association of Central Flood, I hope you're watching this too. Maybe not because I'm no longer a part of your little association anymore. But check this out. I hope you're watching. You can kiss the crack of my natural black ass, okay? Because I, I've been on this platform for seven years. And yes, I'm not rolling in the dough. I'm not, I'm not one of the big boys. But guess what? I have what I have because of what I built. All right, for what came out of my mouth, because people came to watch me and watch my personality, not what you told me what the fuck to say. So why would I start now? So yes, I, I like, I loved the perks of going to free screeners. I, yes, I love going to, to see movies early. I just took my son to see Venom last week, and if you remember, y'all, if y'all was watching my channel a year ago when The Flash came out, me and my son was waiting in this long ass hot line in this fucking abandoned mall just to get turned away from seeing the flash for waiting for two hours, right? And now we get to cut the line, we get the VIP treatment, and we sat down, and I was so proud of that, man. And my peer that helped me get on with the with the association, man, I I thank you to man, I love you to life for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know you're still a part of this, and man, I wish you nothing but success in there, bro. But I, I can't be a part of them no more, man. Fuck them people. You know, so yes. 
it was proud. I was proud to have that moment with my son. I was proud and I felt like uh, I felt accomplished that I was able to go to these screenings now. So I'm like, damn, this is this is what I've always wanted. I worked I worked seven years to get to this place. And then when you get there, you realize it ain't all it's cracked up to be. I worked up to get to here. And now, just like that, it's over. And you know what? I couldn't be happier. It's it's a bittersweet thing because I'm going to miss those screeners. But, yo, I'm relieved now because I'll be damned if I let you sense me. I'll be damned if I have you watch me with a microscope and check everything that I say or whatever opinion I have, especially on a movie like that. So, <laughs> so with that, yeah, kiss my ass. So you can take your pansy ass association, keep doing what the fuck you do. But guess what? I'm going to still be me. Ain't nobody going to stop me from being me. So there you have it. That's all I wanted to say. So I am no longer a critic. You know, after all these years now, I'm like that, that part. But I, I still want to talk movies because that they are a big part of my life. They are uh, my outlet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, films have been with me through every aspect of my life, man, the good and the bad, you know, some of my darkest times, you know, films have got me out of, you know what I mean? So they're a part of it. They are they're like a symbiote. It is a part of me, you know what I mean? So I'm never going to stop that. But to call myself a critic, I'm never going to uh, label myself as a critic again. I guess like my man Blacktastic said, I'm more, I, I guess I'm a pundit. All right. Not a critic. Yeah, so the next would-be critic that will take my place, I hope he's a good little boy that does little nice, cute, family-friendly reviews for you and say exactly what you want them to say and just be a good old boy. And yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a nice review and be and, and stay within the community uh, guidelines. But for me, I say Bon Bayards, Ariba Nurchi, Adios Amigos, Hasta La Vista Baby, and up yours with a twirling lawnmower. I'm out.